I used to think a wedding was a simple affair. Boy and girl meet, they fall in love, he buys a ring, she buys a dress, they say I do. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 differences between Father of the Bride 2022 and 1991. This is your day. Take it as an opportunity to have the wedding you always wanted. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable ways in which the film's third remake deviates from, and possibly improves upon, the Nancy Myers edition. Please consider this your warning as there are major spoilers ahead. Did you prefer Steve Martin's version to Andy Garcia's? Or is the first Father of the Bride movie starring Spencer Tracy the best? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The Cultural Changes Steve Martin's father of the bride heads a 90s take on the family. The Banks are upper, upper middle class white folks living in a huge house in the suburbs, white picket fence and all. I love this town, and not just because it's the kind of place where people still smile at each other, Bye. but because it hasn't changed much in the past 25 years. In other words, there's not much diversity. Contrast that with Andy Garcia's Billy Herrera, a Cuban American exile who built a regal life for his family brick by brick. You wouldn't consider yourself a postmodern kind of guy. No, postmodernism has no regard for, for tradition. Uh, neoclassic architecture, on the other hand, demands you that you respect the lineage of what you're trying to recreate. So I'm more neoclassical, you know, more tradition. His obsession with tradition comes from a pretty deep connection to his heritage and community. And cultures collide when he learns that his daughter Sofia is marrying a Mexican man, Adan Castillo. Mother of the Bride Ingrid's West Side Story analogy sums it up quite nicely. We're all sharks here. You should be ashamed of yourselves You're taking a day that's supposed to be all about our kids and making it all about you. When things go sideways with the wedding, both communities rally to ensure the couple get the nuptials they deserve. Number nine, the marriage. In 1991, Steve Martin's George Banks spirals out of a sense of losing his perfect world, where his daughter Annie is a little girl forever. Right then I realized my day had passed. She'll always love me, of course, but not in the same way. His marriage to Diane Keaton's Nina is a blissful, peaceful one without much conflict. She does not know how to handle the sudden turbulence in their relationship because she's presumably never experienced it before. You've been more than I can handle, George. Annie's wedding is not a conspiracy against you. It's just a wedding. People have them every day in every country in the world. Billy Herrera's marriage, though, is on the rocks from the beginning. The film opens with him and his wife Ingrid in couples therapy, where she says she wants a divorce. We then see the duo bicker, fight, and make up throughout. While George is afraid of his perfect life being disrupted, Billy is unmoored because his marriage is ending as his daughter's is about to begin. Really? I need my space. You expect me to sleep on the couch? Only until the wedding's over. Then you can get your own place. Number eight, the sibling. A very young pre-Roman Roy from Succession, Kieran Culkin plays the younger brother of the bride in the 1991 movie. Just practicing. I wish I didn't have to walk mom down the aisle. Hey, don't worry, you'll be great. Besides being cute and letting his dad know he doesn't feel abandoned, he doesn't have much to do, hilarious driving stint aside. Conversely, Cora Herrera, Sofia's little sister, plays a much bigger role in 2022. Oh no, <laughs> that's the five plus one. That's six dresses, piece of cake. Unlike her older sibling, she isn't into the idea of college and struggles to keep a job. She has big dreams of becoming a fashion designer, but her father initially just thinks she's undisciplined. Her character is crucial to the story, especially as Sophia enlists her services to design the wedding and bridesmaids' dresses. Through her skills and drive, Cora proves to her dad that her dreams are worth supporting. You've always had your way of doing things, and I've always had mine. But after seeing how you design these dresses for this wedding, if you want to start your own business, I got your back. Number seven, the mother of the bride. Nina Banks, too, doesn't have much to do in the 1991 film. Her main job is to talk her husband down from the ledge every time he panics over the cost of the wedding. We don't go to Europe. We don't own fancy cars. I don't own expensive jewelry, so we can afford to have a big wedding. Her biggest scene arguably comes when she bails him out of jail after he loses it at the grocery store. Ingrid, though, is a more fully fleshed out human being with her own wants and desires. 
who feels stifled in a marriage that hasn't grown in ages. I want to be with someone that finds me interesting, mm -hmm. not some stubborn old man who's stuck in a rut and takes me for granted. The free spirit needs more excitement and fulfillment in her life, and she is not afraid to ask for it. She's ready to leave Billy until he finally realizes just how much he's neglected her and changes his ways. Let's go to Greece. <laughs> what? Well, if you're gonna dump me, why not go out with a bang? Oh, true. Number six, The In-Laws. A running theme in the Father of the Bride movies is the insane expense that comes with throwing a massive fancy wedding. Both George Banks and Billy Herrera are made to feel like relative paupers compared to their future in-laws. The former son-in-law-to-be comes from a rich Bel Air family. All I could think about was the size of this place. I know that would We could have parked our whole house in the foyer. But after some hijinks at their stunning mansion, those parents are barely seen again. Meanwhile, Adan's father Hernan is a wildly well-off beer company owner who has a professional soccer team. He and Billy have an actual conflict that adds an extra layer to the story. Am I not supposed to have my traditions at my own son's wedding just because you don't approve? Traditions? What part of Mexico does Wagyu beef come from? Partially fueled by the latter's feelings of inadequacy and partially driven by machismo, the two fathers are fully at odds until they reconcile at the wedding. You know, Billy, every summer my buddies and I take a big fishing trip in the Sea of Cortez. No cigars, tequila, mezcal. I think you'll enjoy it. Number five, the dilemma of the wedding. The husband-to-be in 1991 majorly messes up when he gets Annie a blender. To a 90s woman with professional ambitions, it seems like a message, stay in the kitchen. I mean, what is this, 1958, to give the little wife a blender? I mean, it scared me, you know, in terms of his expectations. That disconnect almost blows up the wedding, but it's easily solved by a few conversations. As far as arguments go, it's minor compared to what we get in the 2022 version. First, Billy angrily insults Adan's family in front of everyone. Though he apologizes, more chaos ensues when Cora exposes his and Ingrid's impending divorce at the rehearsal dinner. Mom? Billy? Dad? Cora? Can, can someone Girl, say something? Girls, we, j we never intended for you to find out like this. With those issues fixed, the Herreras are dealt another blow by Mother Nature when a hurricane destroys the venue and the bridge to it. Thus, Billy leads a family-wide effort to save the wedding in mere hours. Junior, yeah, Junior, Junior in the text chain, get everybody to bring something by five o'clock. go back to dog walking. Hey, oh, pull yourself together. Number four the father's relationship with the fiancé. After Blendergate, George Banks grabs a beer with his son-in-law-to-be, Brian, and gives him advice as to Annie's state of mind. With this passion comes great spirit and individuality, which is probably one of the reasons you love Annie. That's what I love most about her. While his words are wise, the pair's relationship doesn't go much deeper than that. In the 2022 movie, Billy offers Adan a sincere apology at the bachelor party. He confesses that the planned divorce has completely turned his world upside down. We were gonna break the news to Sophie the other night, uh, but then she announced her engagement to you, so you can understand how I felt when I learned that her new boyfriend was gonna take, gonna take my girl away from me to Mexico. Adan forgives him immediately and reveals that the young couple's future plans to head to Mexico are all Sofia's idea. And when she saw all the immigrants stuck at the Mexican border, you know, she, she told me how much you guys struggled to get here. And she felt like she had to do something about it. Things so I just chose to join her. The patriarch comes to see and respect how supportive his daughter's beau is of her focus and purpose. The two end up in a place of mutual admiration setting a solid foundation for the future. To Alan, you came to my house and you said, I want to be like Sophie, and now I just want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blessed to have you in my life. Number three, the groom. Adan gets a lot more screen time in 2022 than Brian did in 1991. 
Even after their heart-to-heart, -heart, the latter character and George never appear to get close. Um, your daughter comes home after spending four months in Rome, and, and I'm sure you couldn't wait to see her, and she shocks you with the news that she's getting married. And to somebody you've never met before. I'm sure that must have been pretty... Um, heavy. The groom isn't really involved in the planning of his own wedding, so the audience doesn't get to know him very well either. Adan, though, plays a crucial role in the story. He's gentle, soft-spoken, and not a fan of sports. Poor guy. Poor guy. Okay. I just feel sorry for someone who has no choice but to fight for money, you know? In other words, he initially seems like Billy's polar opposite. The more we see of him, though, the more we grow to like him and see the similarities between the pair. He's the understanding young man the Herreras need in their life to help them learn to stop and smell the roses. And do you, Adan Castillo Herrera, take this woman to be your wedded wife? I do. A cabron? You took your last name? Number 2. The Bride Sofia Herrera is arguably a much more compelling character than Annie Banks. George tells Annie, a 22-year-old, that she's just too young to get married after only a few months of dating someone. I, I thought you wanted to get a job before you settled down so you could earn money and be your own person. All right, hold on. Honestly, it's easy to see where he's coming from. Sophia, by comparison, is a fully-fledged adult. She's a lawyer, fierce and independent, and has a good head on her shoulders. Why Mexico? Dad. Julio César Chávez for Mexicano. Y el Maromero Páez también. Ah, Maromero Páez, Chicano, Mexicano. Because there's a job that matters to me there. And that's where Adán is from. You can tell she's an intelligent woman who's making the right choice for herself. Sofia holds her own with everyone in the movie and is a complete force of nature. No. Cuatro dos, Capicua. Now can we go? Oh, 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 oh. Eso es un Herrera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pleasure doing business. Let's go. It's crystal clear that Billy is making a huge mistake by not trusting her judgment from the beginning. The same can't necessarily be said for George and Annie's situation. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Father of the Bride while George Banks' attitude can be patronizing, Billy's feelings are well anchored in his Cuban exile background. Let's stop this, okay? I didn't come across the Atlantic Ocean to sleep on Theo Walter's floor, to, oh. to put myself through school, to build a firm so I can afford something like this. So you to stand there and tell me I can't celebrate this extraordinary moment with our family, our Dad, friends. Dad. He's traditional because he wants to hold on to a culture and homeland that he had to leave. George's perfect world is upended by his daughter growing up. This was the moment I'd been dreading for the past six months. Well, actually, for the past 22 years. While it's a fun time, the stakes don't feel particularly high. Billy is thrown when his wife asks for a divorce and his daughter announces a marriage and a move to Mexico. We believe that he truly feels like he's losing everything. Both fathers of the brides learn a hard truth. All little girls grow up. Unlike George, though, Billy takes that lesson and uses it to save his own marriage and grow as a person. It's been a struggle for me to keep up. But when I realized the kind of life that you wanted to build, I started to learn that it's time for me to let go of my past and embrace the future. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.